What is up guys, Flashfire here, and today I'm bringing you another ORAS OU Live. If you guys are hyped to see this dark spam team in action, please drop a like right down below this video. I want to see if we can get this to 50 likes. If we can, I'll be super excited as always. Now, as I said, today we're going to be using this uh, dark spam hyper offense team featuring Mega Garchomp, which is something very interesting. I grabbed this off of a Smogon forum. This is an RMT team, which is Rate My Team, um, and it's basically built around uh, the idea of spamming these two dark types really aggressively. Uh, using Garchomp to break kind of balanced teams. We have SD. Dragon Rush is on there, which is a bit interesting. Um, I've never actually used Dragon Rush it on, like, competitively, and I've never seen anyone else use it competitively. Um, it's an idea. It definitely gives you a bit of extra power without the drawback of locking yourself into Outrage and Confusion and all that kind of stuff. Also has a flinch chance, so maybe it'll be good. I really... I, I just... I don't know. It, it might be. We'll see how it goes. But then we have Suicide Elite as of... Uh, Thunder Waving Thunderous and Assault Vest Azu, just for kind of a little bit of extra bulk. Speed Control, all this kind of stuff. Obviously, the idea of this team is to stack, ha well not stack hazards, but chuck hazards up, prevent your opponent from getting hazards up in the early game, and then pressure them enough that they can't get rid of them, or if they want to defog, punish them with Bishop. Um... Obviously, Azelf struggles in matchups against uh, stuff like Mega Lopunny and Mega Deancey, where they have Magic Bounce and or Fake Out to break the Sash. That's a sad time, but pretty much any other, um, other matchup, you're able to set Rocks turn 1 and have a good time. So, we're going to look for some battles right now. I will cut to when I find one. Oh, look! There's the Mega Deancey I was talking about. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. Okay, so we more or less have to lead off with Azu, because the Deancey lead is painfully obvious um we're just gonna go for a waterfall here i'm fully expecting him to stay in and get his mega evolution off um which is fine now our options here are either to go for another waterfall or to go for a play rough predicting a switch um honestly i think the safest player probably got to go to go for a waterfall um although we don't really have a switch into the rotom which is kind of annoying but uh, it might just it might just be knockoff actually um I think I'm going to Waterfall. Yeah. Okay, as he does switch into the Rotom, um, that's that's a safe, very, very safe switch for him, obviously. Rotom is a great Azu check. Now, right here, the least useful thing that I want to get burned is uh, Azel, so we're just going to throw this guy out right here. Um, it is going to be useful for me to set rocks, but I don't back him to stay in here. Um, so I think what I'm actually going to do is just, I could just explode, like, damage, right? I don't... Th this is this is the only real thing I have to switch into Rotom, though, is the issue. Um, so I could make an offensive switch here, but he's most likely going to Volt switch. No, he's going to hard switch into the Deancey, right? Because he's afraid of the rocks? Is he? Am I going to make that prediction? I'm just going to explode, sod it. Yeah, he does go into the Deancey right there. What this does is it gets enough damage on the Deancey to the point where we can come in and revenge kill it with a Thunderous, which is fantastic. Um, Thunderbolt will kill from this range pretty much every time, I think. Um, obviously, we don't really have a guard switch, switching. This is the issue with offense. Um, I also made that move very quickly, but I, I've run some calcs and I know that that kills. So uh, it's always good to get rid of Mega Deancey. Unfortunately, we had to get rid of our Hazard Setter to do it. But, you know, kind of worth it. Kind of worth it. Mega Deancey's a massive threat to this team, so I'm glad it's out of the way. We don't really have a Moonblast switch in, so uh, getting rid of that is awesome. Now here, obviously Weavile can take me out and probably would probably actually kill me with an Ice Shard. I'm not actually sure. I don't think I've ever, ever been in this matchup. Um, we have Thunderous here. Weavile! Uh, Ice Shard does 72 to 85. Which is pretty much a KO, guys. Uh, we could Thunder Wave him here. Uh, although, this is going to be pretty important. It's my main way of killing the Rotom. Um, so, I am going to go into Azu here. Obviously, if this is Weavile featuring Poison Jab, I'm going to have a bad day. But, I'm hoping that it's not. <laughs> and, uh, we're going to go for a player off here because it puts the Rotom into a KO range. Al alternative play would be to switch out into something that can deal with the Rotom, like the Thunderous, um, which actually might be better, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull a double right here into the Thunderous. You've got to get in the mindset of offense, guys. Um, and I guess we can just throw another Thunderbolt out right here. Um, we could hit HPI's predicting the Garchomp, but that's far too bold. Like, it, it, it loses us so much momentum if he stays in. So, I'm just going to play it safe and go for a Thunderbolt here. 
Might not even be a safe play because I don't really have a Garchomp switch in, but uh, he does go into the Latios right there, so that's not too bad for us. Now, again, this is still our best way of dealing with the um, Garchomp, so I think what I'm actually going to do right here is go out into Exodia. We know we can live a Draco, uh, and we can retaliate with a Hyperspace Fury. Now, who? Ooh, that's not what I was expecting. I'm just going to Drain Punch him here. As we do manage to land a KO on the Weavile, which is awesome, um, thankfully he didn't go for the Rotom Switch right there, which is... Really, really good for us. <laughs> Would have been super bad if he'd done that. Uh, the Garchomp comes out right here. Unfortunately, we are choice locked, so we can't go for the HP ice like we want to. Um, now, Azu is a switch I can make, but Earthquake is pretty much pretty much guaranteed, I think. I'm not really sure. Uh, looking at my opponent's team composition, it's likely to be Scarf Rachi. This is likely to be his rocker. So it's most likely Slow Chomp. Um... Now, if I go for a Drain Punch here, I will guaranteed put him in HP Ice range of Thunderous, which could be really good. But this is going to be great for Revenge Killing the Latte and the Jirachi. The Garchomp doesn't really have that much utility, and I don't think he's going to go for a Dragon move this turn. So I'm going to go into my Garchomp right here. Also, if he does go... Yeah, there's the Stealth Rock. If he had gone for a Dragon Claw right there, I'm confident it wouldn't have killed, and we could have retaliated with a Dragon Rush, because he's going to be Tank Jump and will be faster than him. So we're just going to go for a Dragon Rush right here. There is no point in trying to set up on this guy, because he will more than likely have Dragon Tail and be hitting me with it right now. Um, so go for the Swords Lance, that was completely pointless. We get into our Thunderous, which is good and bad, because it means we take Hazard's damage, but it also means we can Revenge kill this guy. So, um, yeah, so we're just going to go for an HP Ice onto the Jirachi. Now, this is, like I said, his most likely Scarfer. We don't see Leftovers right there, so I'm pretty confident this is going to be Scarf Rachi. Um, I'm just going to go back into Boot Shark, to be honest with you guys. Um, I know we probably die to whatever the hell he wants to go for. Oh, we survived that, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so long as he doesn't go into the Rotom right here, he can pick up a KO right here quite easily. But, we can revenge with the Exodia, so it's not the end of the world. Now, we outspeed this guy, or should, unless he's fast, but I don't think he is. I'm just gonna EQ. As we do take him out right there, maybe he was expecting me to be bulky Mega Chomp. Um, I'm glad I'm not. Uh, so... Okay, so a play that we could make right here is to go into, um... We could possibly go into Exodia. The issue with that would be... Um, hmm. The issue with that would be that it gets revenge. If he does go for a Draco, I don't believe we can switch into rocks twice. Uh, which could be a problem. Also, I really want to preserve Exodia to kind of sweep him. Oh no, wait. Jirachi is scarfed and beats Exodia, so... Bishop is my best revenge killer, so I, could use, I should use Bish, I should use Exodia before I use Bishop. Um, also, I don't... I mean, Garchomp has value in that I can sack it to the Rotom. I'm gonna Exodia here. I think he might side shock to try and pick me off anyway. Which he does, which is awesome, because we're at full health now, and we can just fire off a Hyperspace Fury and see what happens. It might do it go the Rotom, although I doubt it. <laughs> the crit. <laughs> crit, 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 crit. Yes. Yes. Awesome, and we should be able to... Actually, that, that might just be a sweep. Oh, no, it's not, because the Jirachi will revenge kill me with U-turn, because he's a smelly face. Um, but after that, we'll get to go. So the Rotom's gone, which was what we were keeping our Death Fodder for. So we can use our Death Fodder now. And then we can kill the Latia. Yep, yep, yep. Plays, plays, bear plays, bear plays, bear plays, lads. So he's going to U-turn us here, and then we're going to kill the Latios with the Hooper. And my freaking phone is vibrating. Shut up. Um, and uh, we're good to go. Wait, did he take life orb damage? Because if he didn't, then that could be sad. Oh, no, wait. He's just switched in. Dummy. Get him. Grr. Victory! Unless he's not Scarf Raji. Well, no. Even then, we just win because Hyperspace Fury. Ironhead. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so options here. I think... I mean, I know it's going to lower the differential, but I think actually... No, if he's... I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Ironhead's not going to... I was about to Thunder Wave him and then knock off him, but two Sucker Punches does the same job. And he dies to the first Sucker Punch anyway. I don't know why I was worried. <laughs> but we're going to grab another one. Oh, gro gross. Gross. 
gross? Is this is this gross? Yes, yes, this is gross. Uh, but fun fact, we can do our lead thing. We can actually use our lead. I've tested this team for a couple of battles, and every battle I've come up against stuff that stops Ad's Elf, and it makes me so sad. So we can just taunt this guy, even if he is offensive. Uh, we can stealth rock and just have a good time. He can put me down to Sash. He can do whatever the hell he wants. I don't really care. Um, we, we keep our Azov intact, which is sick. Um, and we can just play her off this turn. Yeah, he's only switching his Heat Ram, which doesn't want to take a Waterfall. So, get him. Ow! Get him. Nah. Not enough damage. Um, but we do for... Oh, he can Stealth Rock. That's no fun. He absolutely can Stealth Rock this turn. But I think preserving the Azu is going to be more important than anything else. So we're going to go out to Zeus right here. Um, because he can't Dragon Tail. He just can't. He's going to set Rocks. Or Earthquake. I'm so happy he did that. I'm so happy he did that. Because we can stop Rocks from going up on our side of the field now. That's so good. That's gone so well. Oh, yes. I think... Is that a misplay? I think it is. I mean, I know he wanted to kill the Azu. I feel like he should have set Rocks that turn. If he packs them. I mean, the Heat Ram might be packing them. We don't know. But I would assume that the that the uh, guard jump is his rocket. Um, so we want to keep the Thunderous around. It's our best way to kill the Kelia. Um, and it could be useful for speed control later. So, possible switch in here would be Exodia, as long as he doesn't burn us, but he might burn us, and then I'd be really sad. Uh, hmm. I could sack Azu. What's Azu good for? Uh, we can but we can actually get the Thundy, I guess. Actually, no. Why don't we just sack this guy? This guy's basically worthless. Oh, no, it isn't. It outspeeds that and can fire blast it. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't even know anymore, guys. Azu. <laughs> Thunderous is more important than Azu. I know that much. Woo! <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> okay, so that's probably Choice Scarf Heat Ram. Oh my god. Why? I can't believe you've done this. Um, so, we can probably just throw an EQ out here. I don't see a reason not to. I mean, I know he has the lat he has to switch into us, but... Um, Bishop's... Ow. Bishop's a pretty safe switch into this guy. If he wants to defog, that's fine. If he wants to Draco, it's kind of fine. Actually, what's better? I think Exodia is slightly better than Bishop. So we are going to go to Bishop right here. And if he wants to defog, fantastic. If he wants to Draco, not the end of the world. Um, I am going to make the wussy play here and go for a Sucker Punch. As he defogs this turn. Okay. Good play? I... Uh, why? I mean, I know he can go into Keldeo and just hard check me, but... I... Uh, okay. Um, I guess we just sucker punch him, right? Oh, damage! Look at that damage! Oh, oh, that animation looks sick. I love the new animations. I'm going to keep saying this for as long as I still feel like they're new. The new animations look so cool. Oh my god. Okay. Um, Thunderous? Thunderous seems pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Get him. Because we know it's Scarf Tran. We can sack something and have a good time. Um, well, not even sack something. Just switch something in, like... Okay. Thunderous. Are you gonna... Are you gonna out-thunderous me, Thunderous? Are you gonna be far too thunderous -y for me? Three Thunderous, five me? Uh... Let's see. This... Ah... Uh, that Now, I'm actually getting a little bit scared of the Heracross now. I'm actually getting a little bit afraid of that thing. I do want to preserve this guy. I don't want to just let him die, so... Um... I think I sack Azov here. Is that correct? Yeah, then I can bring in Hooper and do shenanigans. Yeah, yeah, sack Azov. Sack Azov. Um, 
He did just go for a Thunderbolt, but I didn't really want to take that risk. Now, I know I can take one HP Ice with Garchomp. Um, so it might be correct to go for a Dragon Rush here and just... I mean, click and pray that it lands, right? Was I thinking of Tank Chomp? What? I... I'm... Am I... Re I'm... I'm really stupid, aren't I? Wow, okay. I was thinking... I was thinking of Tank Chomp, guys. Because... Because... Because Tank Chomp takes 99 max. M Mega Garchomp isn't the same as Tank Chomp. Fun fact. <laughs> God damn it. Did I just throw the game? Did I just throw the game? Is that really what just happened? I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Oh my god. That's awful. That's so bad. Oh man. Breakthrough, dude. Thank you. I mean, not that it really matters because he's Scarf. Unless he misses here. Which means that... Okay, so does Scarf try an Oko Thunderous? I can spell. Um, I think I might I think I think might have thrown the game, guys. Fuck. Uh, fire Blast. 85 max. Which means he can kill me if he rolls high. I mean, if he rolls 72 to 85... It's pretty likely to kill me, and even if he doesn't kill me, I die when I hit him. So, my best chance of winning here is paralyzing him, and then he either gets full powered or misses. Um, that is, again, still assuming that he's Scarf. So, that's what we're going to go for. We're going to go for our highest win percentage right here. We're going to go for our highest win percentage. Come at me. Yes! <laughs> We still have to be able to KO the freaking goddamn Mega Heracross, though. Which I don't think we can. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys. Ah. Okay. Thunderbolt para, full para. You ready? Are you, are you ready for this? I don't think you can handle this. It didn't happen, guys. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> Why did I do the Garchomp? Why did I put the Garchomp out? Why did I do that? I'm so dumb. I threw the... I'm so stupid. If I still had Garchomp, I'd have won that. I just threw it away. I'm so bad. I thought it lived. And I didn't want to get my Hooper paralyzed, okay? Just leave me alone. <laughs> leave Brittany alone. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, he still let off with the Azelf. What a jebby bitch. Oh my god. Okay, get him. I saw Because whenever I see Deancey, I'm like, well, they're leaving with that. Because they see I have an Azelf. So, you know. But uh, we're going to stop him from doing any shenanigans right there, which is good. So he's got his rocks up. Not great for us, but um, he still hasn't megged his uh, Deancey. So next time I get my ass off in, I'm setting rocks and I don't even care about it. Um, also, he has a spinner rather than a defogger, and I'm not happy about that right now. Okay, so, uh, I mean, this is our only thing that will take a hit from a Deancey, but... Waterfall anyway. <laughs> get him. Can't switch. K. Okay. <laughs> Get him again. <laughs> this is not smart play, guys. Oh, he's light clay as well. What a dweeb. Uh, I can't kill with Aqua Jet, so I'm just going to have to let him get the screen up. If that's Double Dance Lando, I'm so sad right now. Hooper. I knock you off, right? Or do I play rough because it's super... Oh no, I died to a freaking gunk shot. Why would I do that? But is he gonna gunk shot, guys? That's the question. Is he gonna gunk shot? Um, 
again, preserving the Anzu is really good for me. So I probably should probably should do that if I can, and I can. So I'm going to go into Garchomp and see what happens. What you got, Hooper? He has got Gunk Shot. Okay. So hopefully he doesn't... Wow! Burned by Fire Blast and poisoned by freaking Gunk Shot. Okay. Fair and balanced. Get him. God damn. That's all I ever wanted. Ugh. At least we haven't missed a Dragon Rush yet. That's something, right? <laughs> okay, so... Get him again. We're actually in a pretty decent position once the screens are gone. Uh, because a combination of Thunderous and Hooper will actually sweep him. So that's a fun time. We're just going to Dragon Rush again. I mean, we probably should have EQ'd because 100% accuracy and all this kind of shenanigans. And also he has a fairy. What am I doing? But... Yeah, what? Why did I do that? <laughs> guys, I'm, I'm, I'm misplaying. I'm really tired, guys. <laughs> I'm just misplaying everywhere. Wow, he didn't... Okay. Wow. Always lucky, right? Always lucky. Um, okay, so he's not currently in, um, in range of... <laughs> Almost clicked the wrong thing. He's not currently in range of Thunderbolt with the uh, screen up, so we should go into Azu and click Waterfall. Good play. I know he has plus one defense, but Waterfall plus knock. Waterfall is an Oko normally, so should KO from this range. If it doesn't, we can pick him off with Aqua Jet next turn. Ah! Ow! Alright, is he trying to mind game me? Does it matter if he's trying to mind game me? Not really, I should probably just knock off, right? He's trying to mind game me, it doesn't really matter because we can revenge him with Azelf, Hooper, or Thunderous, so I should knock off here. Yes, boys! Get wrecked. I like that. Um... That was a light screen. Knockoff has a bunch of power. Aqua Jet has less power, but it might kill. So let's find out. <laughs> Go, Azu! <laughs> yes. You blue bunny. You dumb blue bunny. You're my hero. Woo! Victory. <laughs> Even with the misplayers. Okay, let's grab another one. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Okay, we don't have anything to kill the Venusaur, and I'm sad about it. Um, however, Azelf lead is good. As our fleet is good here. Uh, because we taunt all the things. Taunt all of the things. We could fire blast that, but I don't want rocks on my side. He's probably going to iron head a whirlwind. Oh, he toxic spike. Oh, he toxic. Okay, interesting. I think fire blasting this guy is better for me than. No, setting rocks is the best ever, so we should do that. Hell yeah. I should have fire blasted. Because I would have 2 KO'd this guy. Apparently, he doesn't know that Azov gets fire blast. Or maybe. Zap No! <laughs> you can't do that! <laughs> this man is actually using Zap Cannon, oh my god! <laughs> Guys, for those of you, you who don't know, Zap Cannon is 100 base power, 50 accuracy and paralyzes every time. <laughs> I wasn't ready. What? <laughs> That's so good. Okay. <laughs> this guy's useless now. We're just going to fire blast. Oh my god. What? <laughs> I'm so happy. I just realized, why does this guy have Fire Fang over Fire Blast? That seems silly. Oh my god, that was great. I'm s I just... Wow. Okay. 240. <laughs> I need a minute. Oh my god. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> he landed it as well. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> it 
It was so unnecessary as well. He could have just flash cannon twice. <laughs> you know what? I don't care if I lose this game. I got hit with a zap cannon. Like, what? Okay. <laughs> oh, this is, <laughs> this is probably tank jump. Uh, he's going to set rocks, isn't he? Um, we could knock off, and that would guarantee that he's in range of uh, Thunderous, which is an option. I think I'm gonna do that actually. I'm he's probably gonna he's probably gonna stealth rock. Cause he toxic with Skarm Tom. Rock slide, okay. This man is running the MLG sets. Choice scarf. Ah. I see you. I see you, buddy. Shaking that ass. <laughs> Zap Cannon Magnazone! I'm so happy! Right, I don't think I can go. I, I can't go on any further, guys. <laughs> so, look, he got upset when I was taking a while as well. Like, I'm just sitting here crying, and he's like, come on, I landed Zap Cannon. What's the big deal? Uh, anyway, <laughs> if you guys have enjoyed this live, please remember to drop a like down below, as always. Uh, come back tomorrow for our competitive team builder, which will be awesome. I think we're going to. We might be doing a fairy spam core, actually, which could be fun, given we just done dark spam. But, um, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>